This right here is why I'm so excited for the 14th generation of CPUs from Intel, because the mid-range CPUs are actually going to be very, very, very good. The 13700K, as a quick example, alongside the 13500, are the two CPUs that I use most in the computer builds that I am building for people on pretty much a weekly basis, if not multiple times a week. So I want you to look at this right here. Now do keep in mind, this is of course a rumor. I'm getting this information over on the video cards website. The article is about the 14900, the 14700 and the 14600, and then the 14900 boosting up to six gigahertz. That's not really why I'm so excited for the 14th generation of CPUs from Intel. The 13700 is getting a, a pretty good performance boost as you're going to see here in a moment. I am not the best with numbers. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not the best with that stuff. So, um, but there are, of course, uh, I wouldn't be sharing this and saying I'm excited if I didn't understand this part. But anyways, right here, you can see the Intel 14th generation core K series specs. This is why I like the video cards website so much is because they make it very, very simple to understand and they they put the charts out for everything i'm not affiliated with them by any means it's just that's just me being very honest they, they make their articles very very friendly for the person that is actually watching or reading the article you know not many other articles do this most people will type out like 20 paragraphs to explain all this crap and then you're like okay what what what, what does that even mean Whereas they like actually do a chart. So as you can see right here, the core i9, 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 and then the i7, i7, i5, 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 i3, and then i3. So the 12th gen, the 13th gen, and then 14th generation CPUs. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So as you can see right here, the core i9 has 16 cores, 24 threads for 12th gen, 24 cores, 32 threads for for 13th generation and then again for 14th generation it's 24 cores 32 threads but it could also possibly go up to 6.2 gigahertz and then this right here pretty much the same except 5.8 6 a little bit of a performance boost and then the same thing here 16 core 24 threads 24 32 24 32 but the thing that i'm most excited for is the 700 series cpus with keeping my so also the integrated graphics i really am i'm very like the integrated graphics with the, the the new amd cpus was a little bit of a letdown and i think most people will agree with that when you know i was actually pretty excited to see that like amd might possibly be able to like get their integrated graphics in their cpus up to like 1080p or 1440p i think that that would be pretty cool you can of course play games at 1080p but you're gonna need to like dump down the settings to like bare bones minimum the integrated graphics with the amd cpus is really aimed at like the 720p gaming which is still pretty cool i'm not saying it's like even though let's be honest it kind of is but anyways let's continue here before i get too off topic so we got 12 cores 20 threads 16 cores 24 threads and then 20 cores and 28 threads 5.6 gigahertz keep in mind by the way and then the other one we don't know yet it's 12 cores 20 16 core 24 and then 20 and 28 threads and do keep in mind that we have the uh we have 12 e cores and then eight um i got a brain fart going on in my mind but anyways for those of you that are that were like saying oh it's just a, just a refresh of cpus dude i don't really care about I don't know man that's just me i guess that's just how i operate like i don't really care about oh what the heck why was i not it was that like no that wasn't showing the other moment was it hold on let me zoom out oh i guess i just wasn't paying it. see this is why i like this like it was right in front of my face and i wasn't even paying attention to this right here so we got the 14.6 the 14.7 and the 14.9 so p course that's what i was looking at but what does that what does that mean p course primary course so then we got the tdp the wattage pretty good 125 across the board which i think is pretty neat base core internal thermal we don't know those yet but then and then these right here are the clock speeds 
and then the intel smart cache but anyways man let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section well i am i'm i'm very excited i i understand that a lot of people are saying oh it's just a refresh but dude like i really don't care about whether we get something brand spanking new or if we just get a refresh of something like if it's good then it's good that's all i care about you know if, if it's good and it's affordable that's all i care about you know nvidia is really the only one that's kind of like soft you know what i mean like and even like within me saying nvidia sucks it's more so the price not the actual cards like that computer over there 4060 ti i love the 4060 ti and the numbers don't even like the numbers don't even really like show what that graphics card like can actually do when you use it like actually use it you know what i mean like it, i don't want i don't know if they have like some sort of ai going on and i'm not talking about the uh brain fart again dude uh the dynamic learning or dlss whatever the frick they got going on where they where they combine the frames to make it like double frame i'm not talking about that i don't use that because it looks stupid or it doesn't look stupid it feels stupid is what i want to say because like it's almost like it's showing you for so if you have a roku tv as an example or like a tv that has that game boost where it like it takes 60 frames per second and it tries to like turn it into 120 frames per second but it like it looks like but then if you go to play your game it's like you're still playing the game at like 60 frames per second so that's what it feels like to me when i'm using that like frame boost that nvidia has like you, you're seeing like this ridiculously high frame rate but then you're playing and it's like you're playing at a lower frame rate so it like it messes with how the game is operating and i hate that but anyway and then the the other one that we're going to be building here I'm still waiting for the GPU. I love that case. It's the same case. With that one, we're going to have a 13500 and a 4070 Ti. And I'm... Oh, so the, the 13... It's not... It's going to bottleneck the 4070. Dude, it's a 1440p and 4K gaming PC. It's not a 1080p PC where the owner is going to complain about losing 10% of their freaking graphic i'm just yeah. unless you build pcs and actually use the components inside of the computer do not give your opinion facts are much more important than opinions just saying catch you guys next video peace look man i'm gonna keep it real with you